Hello, hello, hello. Evan Dunphy, Canadian race walker here. This is a bouquet of questions. Ooh, my favorite Olympic moment was when I crossed that finish line in Rio. No energy left, absolutely given everything I had, collapsed to the ground, but true endurance athlete fashion, made sure to stop my watch first. What do we got here? Ooh, so I'm getting good questions here. The reason I love competing for Canada is that you get to throw on that maple leaf, maple leaf across the chest, Canada on there. You get to go out there and you get to be an ambassador. You get to represent the values that make Canada great. You get to go in there and showcase yourself, your country, all that stuff for, and my race is long. I get to do that for four hours. It's brilliant. I love being an ambassador. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, with a great team. You get that atmosphere of being a part of Team Canada, maple leaf on the, on the heart. It's, uh, it's amazing. I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. The wildest thing a fan has ever done for me is, uh, so in Rio, eight o'clock in the morning, start time. Uh, my friends and family are there. My brother's right there on the race course. They've got their, their box of beers open. Uh, they've, they've cracked their first one and, and my brother's there cheering, banging against the boards, banging against the boards, go up and go. I come around three kilometers into this 50K race and I have to go, Adam, it's a really long race. You need to pace yourself. You need to calm down. You can't sustain this. So, you know, you gotta love a brother who's willing to cheer for you top of his lungs for four hours though. Here for some, some deeper questions, let's see. Oh, my favorite city in Canada is Richmond, British Columbia. Born and raised, never left, great for training. The largest hill I have to deal with in training is just up over the railway tracks and back down. Tons of places to, to train along the water, along the dikes. It's, uh, you can ask for a better place to train. So Richmond, BC, love it. Uh, my lucky charm is, uh, my lucky charm is, uh, you know, my lucky charm is my charm. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> I knew I wanted to be an Olympian when? Uh, so I was nine years old. That little class assignment, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I wrote down I wanted to be an Olympian. No idea what that meant, but uh, my dad had coached there at the Olympics in 1972 and grew up hearing all these fun stories and it sounded really cool. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. I want to be an Olympian. And uh, my teacher went, you know, that's really good. Do you want to add something else in there just in case? I said, nope, I'm good. Olympian, that's it. I had no idea what sport it was gonna be in. And then I tried race walking a year later and I was like, oh, I'm kind of good at this. I can walk really fast. Let's see how far I can go with this. And then it's brought me to here. Okay, we got our last one here. Uh, the happiest moment of my career was, oh geez, um, this, past, this past fall, world championship in Doha, absolutely brutal conditions. Come across that finish line, I had, I had planned my race perfectly passed the guy in fourth place, moved into the third place at 49 kilometers, just charged home, came across that finish line, picking up my first ever world championship medal. And I was just, you know, that was, that was pure elation, pure joy for, you know, everything I'd worked for for the last 19 years sort of you know, came, came to a head in that moment. And, and it was so cool to, uh, to get to experience that and to share that moment with my, with my teammates and my friends and my family. Thank you so much. This has been Evan Dunphy. This has been a bouquet of questions. I'm out.